Hello guys, welcome to my channel and today we are going to learn web services. What is web services? What are all the different types of web services available? So we are going to learn web services concept in simple terms and with the help of an example. So let's get started. Uh, so web services, basically web services uh, is, is used to communicate between two different applications in the form of request and response. So web services are XML or JSON based information exchange system that use internet for direct application to application interaction so there are different types of markup languages so we will get request and response in the form of different type of markup languages they are mainly xml and json and also we have wsdl wsfl wscl markup languages as well like um, those are web service description language web service flow language something like that only but mainly uh, we'll get responses either xml format or json format so let's get started let us uh, see uh, a practical example so let us go to website like make my trip or flight booking website paytm or google pay or phone pay something like that so let's try to book a flight ticket now so let me open google chrome and then i'm i'll search for flight booking sites so let me type flight booking websites and here we can see uh, different uh, websites are available like uh, go indigo make my trip and uh, you know uh, go ibbo ixgio something like that so let me choose easy uh, my trip go. let me choose any one of the website uh, let me select a clear trip And I'm booking a flight from, let's say, uh, Mumbai, Mumbai to Vijayawada. And let me select the date. Uh, let me click on search flights. It is, it is searching flights between uh, Mumbai and Vijayawada. Here we can see all the flight information and the details within few seconds. So let us try to understand how uh, this uh, clear trip website is going to display all the flight information and uh, how it is going to communicate with the different uh, flights actually. Here if you can see Air India, uh, Indigo, Air India. So these are all the different flight information we can see over here with the prices and all. So let us understand how this clear trip website is going to extract these details. Uh, let me go to PPT. Uh, so make my trip uh, or clear trip website is supposed to interact with the different uh, airways uh, web services. Uh, so, to display the flight information, the clear trip site should have database access to the flight websites, something like Go, Air, Air India, Indigo, Jet, something like that. But no Airways website allows a third party person or website to access their own database due to the security issues. So, all web services has provided web service. Okay. So all airways websites provides a web service. So clear trip is going to use or consume the web services of airways to get a response or flight detail information. This is how they are going to communicate by using web services. Okay, even uh, Paytm, Google Pay, Make My Trip, uh, you know, clear trip, all these websites are going to consume the web services in the form of request and response. So Make My Trip, uh, our clear trip uh, is going to request uh, request uh, the details and the 
uh, they'll get a response from the uh, another website like uh, what are all the requests he has requested those details he'll get a response in the form of uh, xml or json so i hope you like this video uh, that's all for today guys and uh, in the next session we are going to learn how to consume these web services and uh, uh, how to call the web services in automation anywhere a360 or python code or excel macro code we are going to learn all these things in the next coming session so please subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on bell icon then you will be notified every time when i upload a new series or videos on web services or other rpa technologies so if you have any queries and concerns please drop me a message in the comment section thank you have a nice day